Hello my friends and welcome back. With the holiday seasons about to start all across the world, it's a good time to sort of reassess how our homes are because we've got people coming in, we're going out at short notice, all sorts of things are happening. We'll be decorating a little bit later on down the track for me. Um, and these are the sorts of things that you, you want to be able to do without having to worry about whether your home needs to be cleaned, whether everything's tidy, if you've got a mess, you know, that you need to deal with of laundry or, or whatever, if your kitchen's not functioning properly and you're trying to cook a meal for friends and family. So, Today I'm talking about the seven things that I do all of the time, mostly, mostly, I'm no saint, that stop my home from ever really becoming a mess. Let's dive straight into number one, which is technically not about keeping a home tidy, but is about keeping your stress levels down. And for me, it's one of the most important things I do, and that is to meal plan. Because when you've had a family and you come out of the family home and you're no longer cooking for a lot of different people, then it's even more important to be very clear about what you need. Even those of us who are living with um, with a partner and living with family members, we still have time when we just need to be able to pull something out for ourselves, when we're flying solo that night, whatever we're doing. And that's when meal planning really comes to the Number two is to do little but often. Now, what do I mean by that? For example, laundry, always sorted into lights, whites and lights, darks and greys, those sorts of two tubs. You put it in the washing machine, you then either hang it up, which really takes five, or put it in the dryer, which takes even less, then fold it. Maybe that's the longest thing that it takes, another little but often. Number three is another really old one. It's the two minute rule or the five minute rule, because we all have two minutes and five minutes. You know, the two minutes uh, waiting for our coffee. You know, the five minutes before you have to leave to go somewhere. Do those things that take two or five minutes and just do them, check them off. Oh, that dopamine rush, yes, check. There's nothing like a list that gets checked off because then you get that sense of achievement instead of just, what did I get done today? If you've got those little gaps of time, it could be that you wipe down your bathroom counters, uh, maybe you go and spray the shower and you get in there later to give it a clean. All of those things can take two and five minutes, and yet they build up. Not necessarily all in one day, but over a week, they certainly do. Number four is to have a cleaning system. And yes, you've seen me clean. I know I got a bit boring there for a while. It was all I was doing, and, um, and people commented that all I did was clean, and, and that's fair enough. But it was just sort of me getting into the cycle of cleaning in this particular home. And I do, and have usually, really for years, had a form of zone cleaning. I don't think I called it that, but I knew that there were five. There are five weeks in every month, not four, five, because there are bits of each at the beginning and end, you know what I mean? There are the solid four and then those extras. And so the first week might only have a couple of days, so I make sure that in that week I always clean sort of entryway, which you know also has my utility cupboard in it, and that table where you just put your keys down and all of those things. And then through the rest of the month that then goes kitchen is a full week, so 15 minutes, five, 10, two minutes a day spent specifically cleaning something a little bit more than you usually would on your normal daily tasks. Bedroom and second bedroom with study in the um, third week, living room, dining room, this area and, and TV room in the fourth week and then the last is the bathrooms, laundry, loo and my car. Having a zone, zone cleaning system just takes away the stress, takes away decision making and decision fatigue which believe me is very real because you can spend half an hour thinking oh, I really should be doing something but I can't decide what. The moment that it's decided for you you can go and do a little bit of it, not a lot but a little bit and it starts you on the way. Number five is one that I am sure you heard from your parents. I know I heard it from mine. Don't put it down, put it away. Now, the thing about that is that you need to know where to put it away. So the first step is to have a home for everything. And that may well mean that you need to go through and do a declutter so that there is a place in your home for everything. Number six is to set a bedtime I know this is nothing to do with cleaning a house, having a tidy home. Yes, but it is to do with peace of mind and calm life and having the energy to do those little five minute tasks, the 15 minute tasks, the things that you need to get done in your life. You can't do unless you have the energy for it. And the fastest way to lose energy is to not sleep. Can we just say that? 
uh, I am a non-sleeper unless I am really disciplined about it and I have learned over the years that one of the things I need is a set going to bed time like a four-year-old and, um, and a getting up time obviously but I naturally wake early but if I wake early you know 5 30 or 6 and I haven't had enough sleep then I feel bad to start with um, and I, even if I don't physically feel bad mentally I think oh I haven't had enough sleep I should have gone to bed earlier so I have a bedtime and my bedtime is 10 o'clock because I tend to wake at about 6 and that means that about 9.30 ish um, my, I tend to not pick up my phone, I'm not on my screens, I might be watching TV, There's, you know, but that doesn't seem to disrupt my sleep in the same way. Have a routine before you go to bed, watch some television, read a book, cup of tea, chat to a friend. So yes, set a bedtime, treat yourself like a cross six-year-old and insist that you go to bed at night. <laughs> Number seven, and this is a big one. I stopped believing in Tomorrowland. What on earth is Tomorrowland? It's that time, that place, that, that land where things get done. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I don't have time today, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll get it done next week. Tomorrowland. It doesn't exist. I stopped believing in Tomorrowland. Uh, unless I have a particular set time when I will get things done. So, you know, the whole zone cleaning thing. Or I've got that five, two to five, to 10 minutes when I can just do something right now and I know what I need to do because you know I've got my list I'm a great list maker you know that but you do those little things because believe me when you put off that um, the action or that decision because a lot of decluttering and downsizing um, hesitation that procrastination for doing that is that you are delaying your decisions you don't want to make them it's too hard all of those things you've got to stop believing in Tomorrowland I know Tomorrowland is lovely everything's happy there is there's sunshine and unicorns and you know rainbows but you know it doesn't exist so just do it do that two minutes do that five minutes have your 15 minutes you know every day a uh, little bit extra do the meal planning because tomorrow you're not going to feel like it any more than you feel like it today and here's your bonus I did it my way I know very Frank Sinatra-esque isn't it but it's true I did it my way I sorted out how to do it my way that worked for me and you need to do that for you as well nobody else not me nobody else has the magical answer to how you need to run your home, your life. No one, no one can be you. We are all, thank goodness, we are all wonderfully different. We have different organizing styles. We have different responsibilities. We have different energy levels. We have different requirements. So you need to do what I did, which was to listen to other people like you know like I'm doing with you now giving you some hints about how to do things in a way that works like with a train and then just work out test trial do things for a month or two don't do them for five minutes and say well that didn't work give them a real trial put your heart into it a bit but then see how it works for you and work out a process that works for you and your family you know your partner um, you know, do things that feel good, feel right with your energy level, with your organizing style, with your standards. And, and I don't think we should all be the same, but if you are stressed by your home, if it's not the place you love to come back to, if you feel like your life is a bit is disorganized and out of control of it, then, you know, do some research. Places like here with me, I've got lots of these sorts of um, chats and, and see what will work, see what is a comfortable fit for you in your life. So there you are. I hope that there's something there resonated with you and that you know, you'd like to join this tribe of lovely people. It's the, the nicest tribe on YouTube. I, I can guarantee you that. So come along. There'll be more like this. There's Vlogmas coming up. Christmas is coming. And all of those lovely things to look forward to at this time of the year. So I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, that you're having a lovely time. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh.